Hello again. Welcome back. So, we, in the last video, we figured out we definitely need the EEPROM um, by uh, ohming out uh, the external uh, memory pin on the micro, and it is definitely set up to externally load that. So, we, we, we're going to have to wait till that happens, till I get one in, so I can copy it. But in the meantime, we got to get down to these uh, diodes down here, which we know preliminary testing shows that they're bad. The fact that the one looks like it's been on fire is a good clue that that's messed up. So um, I was looking through all of those pictures in the last video, and I noticed that I repaired one of these before, and you can see where I've taken them all out. And you look, I had a whole bunch of these. So I looked everywhere and everywhere and everywhere, and finally found. Ta-da! I actually do have these already. I thought I might have to order some because I couldn't find any. But look at that, I got exactly five, which means I originally ordered ten. As, as yeah, I originally ordered ten, and that was probably just to get the price break. They're ultra fast, 400 volt, um, part number MUR1540G. So there they are. Um, I already got them. So what we're going to do is try and break this down to get to these guys. Yeah. So we're going to try and get these out. <clears throat> and of course we can kind of get to them. So there's some awesome engineering here that makes it impossible to get to the screw. And what's interesting is I think this has been taken apart before to be repaired because I can see where somebody took a pair of um, like um, vice grips or something and you can see where it's it's notched on, on these guys so they kind of cranked on these ones to get them undone because they couldn't get to those but they shouldn't have that much trouble I don't think. Okay, go ahead and take this guy out. You got your trusty box of all parts. So this might be a pretty boring video. And make sure we get that back in the same way, so. Always take a bunch of pictures. Those are all the pictures that end up on the website. I haven't actually been taking as many pictures as I used to with the videos. Actually, the the video quality is good enough that you can actually uh, zoom in pretty good and, and see what um, what's going on. But I know, I know people like the write-ups, which I don't do nearly enough of. Just it takes a long time to do the write-ups. Yes, <laughs> everybody's gotten lazy and easy just to do a video. Oh, that one's got a chip in it. Okay, you're not going to be able to get to those ones unless the help of this. I'm not destroying anything. Now this one uh, we might have to cheat. 
I'm not, how, I'm not sure how they put this together. They must have uh, soldered everything on the board except for the MOSFETs and uh, diodes and then brought this part over and just slapped it on there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because I could get down in here to unscrew these guys. And there's a big transformer in the way. That's going to always be interesting. So we're going to have to cheat the same way the previous people did. And unscrew this like so. And you can tell on the previous one, see how focus. See how it chewed, it up, chewed up the edges are on the screw? That's how you know that uh, somebody did that. Unless that's how they assembled it. I, it could be... I highly doubt it though, but... Maybe. I have seen stranger things. So, we've got that all out. Now we need to get... There's a few screws around the corners here. Just go ahead and... Take out. And that is not, those are not Phillips like the rest of them. Okay, just double check that is the same. to keep track of it then. And one last screw on the bottom. to take off these guys over here. And there was a screw washer on that one. this and that is screwed in that is unfortunate okay and we're gonna unplug this guy and this guy This guy. And we're still attached. So, no matter what. We 
make it easy. Still going to be attached to the board. No matter what. Okay. Awesome. There's a screw here, and I'm not sure where that came from. I don't think that was part of this. Nope, there's another screw. Were those, did those come off from something? They're different lengths. Oh, they did. Those are the those are the ones that came through the bottom. Okay. I'll go ahead and That's what was holding these on. And then the one had a washer on it too. See, if I didn't know where those came from, I can always go back and look at the video, right? Yeah, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that's seen better days. And I wish, okay, we're gonna have to pop this off. Not too bad. All right, so we're gonna take a picture of this. Specifically, one there's a corner here which is pin one, and we want to designate that that is the white pin, All right? Come on, there you go. Okay, so. I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and there's a couple little pin little tabs in here. And I'm gonna push them in and eject the pins out. And of course if you can't get them to eject, you could always unsolder. I got the one out. What's the hold up on this one? There it goes. There you go. Connector. Goes into the boxo parts. And now that allows me to take this at least I can move it out of the way. It's still hooked up by Honestly, yeah, that that um, doesn't look healthy. <clears throat> so yeah, we're still hooked up by a bunch of uh, bunch of cables here, but we've got it off the base plate, so you can take a look and see how bad this thing looks. Yeah, that's been on fire. There's also a lot of, yeah, 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 I think it got water in it. Yeah, but, um, that might be a problem. Uh, there's enough copper there I can probably fix it probably um, you know bridge that gap around that bad uh, yeah that is kind of crusty <laughs> it's probably it's all carbonized out yeah the, uh, solder mask is actually caught fire at some point What else do we got here? A few little wire mods here and there. Yeah, it's 
seen better days, but a lot of the stuff that I have to fix comes in. It's usually seen better days. So, I need to take all that off so I can get to the bottom here. And get to the those diodes. Which we can check. I'm pretty I think they were all before I had trouble checking them. Now that we can get to the back side here. Let's see. I can check them all. Yeah, it's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. How can they all be dead? Well, yeah, is that a valid check? I'd have to think about that. My paper went where I drew that out. Are we actually? No, that should be a valid check because on a bridge, yeah, at least some of them have to be dead, which could be making the other ones look bad. But I'll just replace all of them because if one's bad, then the other one's going to get overloaded. So let's see what we got to do next here. I get in there and take a. This plate should have come off. What's holding this plate on? There must be another screw somewhere. Where are the uh, thermal adhesive? Is that good? I guess technically I don't need to take those out to get to these guys. I can just, uh, might be able to just get. There's just no room. I want to take that transformer out just to get to him. That looks like that's an undertaking, and then some. <laughs> I just love there. <laughs> that's a reliable connection. Hmm, let's see. Let's see, how am I going to get those guys out? Well, I guess while I've got the back exposed, I can check to make sure all the MOSFETs are good. I shouldn't do these things live. I should have a uh, compliant attack. Or if I had any kind of video editing software, I could do that. <laughs> hey, that one's good. That should be the gate. So, he's good. He's good. 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 Good, good, despite the fire next to him. Yeah, all the MOSFETs are good. See, remember when I was looking at the push-pull? We're talking about the push pull and uh, not the last video, but the previous video. Every other one is connected together. So that's a fat, 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 and that's a fat. And there were six of them. These two are complementary. That one's shorter with that one. That one's shorter with that one. You can see on the trace here. And then the opposite will be true too. So those guys are going to be shorter together. I guess shorter together on the other side of the board. So that's how you know. Uh, every other one of them is in parallel with everybody else and every other one again is in parallel and that's how you know it's that it's how it's firing the uh, the transformer 
So, yeah. How am I going to get this off of here? Well, it looks like we're attached here to that, that block. But, what you really want to do is I need like a super tiny screwdriver. Get like one of them out here. Yeah, I should probably preserve that. like a washer. It's just to isolate the, um, despite the fact that I'm pretty sure those might be, well, let me know. So we'll take that back. I don't know if they're isolated or not. Let me see. How am I going to get the other guys out of there? We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way, huh? Must this be a lesson to anybody who designs electronics? <laughs> I make as you can work on it. All these things are made to go together once and never come apart again. Although I guess nothing's as bad as the uh, redacted boards I have. The old uh, selector one where they go in get rather overzealous with the Dremel tool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hold on. This is what I'm talking about. Where they went and took a Dremel tool and erased every single part number off of every chip to make it really difficult to work on. But then on later versions, they don't do that anymore. So I don't know what was up with that. They were afraid somebody was going to copy their design, I guess. Yes, you've got what's called open source hardware, um, closed source hardware, <laughs> and then redacted hardware, where they really don't want you to be able to do anything with it at all. Yeah, this is going to be a boring video. I discharged it, so there's no excitement of me electrocuting myself on this one. I got, what, six more minutes before I run out of space, so... <laughs> Maybe we'll get them all off by then. That's why they have fast forward on YouTube, right? You can just kind of skip ahead some more interesting things. Unless you're like me on Comcast and it buffers forever. You really shouldn't remove screws like this, but they're not really giving me much of a chance, are they? I'm not quite sure why I took out all those bolts to 
it didn't really make it any easier, did it? For some reason in my head I thought I'd just take that off and that would make life easier, but it's equally as hard. I got them all. <laughs> Actually, before I do anything, I want to put I put these back in. Since what will happen is that it'll, it'll fall off almost in opportune time. There you go. Probably bolt that one back in there. Yeah. Well, might need. Yeah, let's see what happens there. Yeah. Go ahead and see if we can't break those away from. Grab an old beat of bolt. You know, there's a resistor in the way, so I can't do it. A lot of times you just put a bolt in the hole in the heat sink and just bend it down and it'll pop them free. But we'll just uh, just manually wiggle them. There you go. Good to go. Now we just need to unsolder them. And then we can test them out of, out of circuit and make sure that they're actually truly bad. I suspect they are, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here. And um, depending on what time it is, probably work on it some more tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, well, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.